Hi, Terry. Go get Apple's yoga blocks. So, so pause this, but I'm assuming you're working here, here, and here. Okay, so go get her yoga blocks, put this on pause. And then if your knees bother you, grab a, um, a towel to put under your knees. Okay, you ready? So put the blocks, I'm gonna face here, put the blocks like so. And take your, your right foot, I'll mirror you, so I'll use my left, your right foot, and kind of hoist it up. And pull your hips forward as far as you can. So over here, so pull your hips forward. So we're gonna open up here, because that could be pulling on the hips, which could hit the back. Okay, and now kind of pull your hips back a little bit, so you feel this in the back of your left leg. We're just gonna move forward and back like so. And we're just trying to get the hips, so uh, the pelvis kind of in a neutral spot. So just back and forth. Now you're, you're only gonna go as far as your muscles will allow. It might not be as far as I'm going. So whatever movement you make is a stretch for your muscles. And that's all we're looking for. Some lubrication in there. Okay, bring this one back. And then give this one assistance. Come forward. Try and get your knee more over your ankle. I don't want your knee back, your foot back here with your knee there. I want it right over the ankle. And then pull it back. So same thing, we're just moving forward and back. So you feel a stretch in the front of your left thigh and then you'll feel a stretch on the back of your right thigh. So forward and back. It's gonna to start to loosen up. Okay, now bring this right knee back. Okay, on your hands and knees. Now if your knees are bothering you, put a towel under there. So hands under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You're gonna round your back like a scaredy cat. Let your head drop, relax your, relax your neck, let your head drop. Round your back as much as you can. Push your hands and your knees into the floor and push away so you can round more. This should feel really good. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. So let your body kind of fall through the arms. Lift your head, then push your chest up, and then round. Now breathe out here, breathe out as you round. Breathe in as you go the other way. Breathe out as you round. Breathe in as you go the other way. Two more. Breathing out, breathing in, round, and the other way. Now, bring your butt as close to your heels as you can. And if your knees don't allow, only go so far. Push the mat away from you and you're gonna get a nice stretch of the spine. Bring your left hand over to the right hand. So your hands are wide, bring your left hand to the right hand. And breathe really deep. We're, gonna, we're stretching from the hips, the left hip to the left of rib cage. Breathe deep. And then hand wide, bring your right hand to the left hand, do the same, breathe deep. Okay, back onto the hands and knees. Bring both hands over to the right, so you're kind of crooked, crooked. And do these cat cows again, so round the back, breathe out. Let it drop, lift your chest, breathe in and out. So again, we're hitting the, from the left hip 
to the rib cage. It's called the quadratus lumborum. Okay, now hand wide, we'll go the other side. Same thing, round, breathe out. Body drops, breathe in. Breathe out. Body drops, lift your chest, breathe in. One more. All right, and now the best, come onto your back. You might need assistance on this one in a minute. On your back, draw your right knee into your chest. Extend the left leg out straight. Now, if this bothers your back, put the left knee onto the floor again. Otherwise, let it go out straight. Either way, doesn't matter. The most important thing that matters is the lower back is protected. Switch legs. And bring both in. One hand on each knee. Keeping the knees and feet somewhat side by side, make a circle. So they're both circling around together. You're going to feel this also in the lower back as it kind of tilts and one way and then the other way. Meaning your lower back comes onto the floor and then it may push away as your legs go away from you. Let's go the other direction. your right ankle over the left thigh. This is where you need, may need a block. We're going to stretch the right hip right here. If you don't feel it much, so you have someone put a, put a block under your left foot and then you'll feel it a little deeper. You're right here, right here in the right butt cheek. Breathe really deep, three or four times. You can even here gently move side to side with your, your left leg is, you're gonna move side to side and your right foot's just taking a ride. You'll feel this kind of opening up on your, in your hips. Take that block and move it over. You might not be able to put your foot on the block right away. So cross the, if you can't cross over, move the right leg further away from you, then cross the ankle over, and then start to bring that right foot closer to your butt. If you don't feel much of a stretch on that left butt cheek-ish area, put your right foot on the block. Ooh, there it is. Move gently side to side. Again, any sharp pain, don't do it. All right, and step your foot off. Bring your feet wide on a crumb floor. I'm gonna actually face my body towards you more. So feet wide. And take your, keep your left leg stationary. Don't let it move. Drop your right knee toward the left leg. And then open it back up. Drop it in again. So the left leg stays still. The right knee is just coming in and going back out again. And 
and then do the left leg, popping it in and out, keeping the right knee stationary. You can push that left knee, push it really far towards the floor if it doesn't, if it feels like it's a good stretch. If there's any pain or it feels like bones are rubbing, don't do it. If you're uncertain which one it is, don't do it. And now gently both of them side to side. If it feels good, start to let the knees go closer to the floor. And move slow, like a, tur like a turtle. Take your left arm and bring it open. Let it, if it, you're, maybe your hand touches the floor, maybe not. And then bring it back over here. So hands touch, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out, I'm gonna do a couple more times. Now we're working the thoracic spine, the back of your rib cage. Again, one more. Okay, the other side. Completely rolling onto the left side. Now, when you're right hand, I want you to reach your right hand as far past the left hand as you can. Just really push it away. And then inhale, bring the right hand over to like a T shape. Exhale, bring it over and push it far past the left hand. Then inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. All right, and onto your back. Okay, last thing I'd like you to try is back onto the hands and knees in their giant hip circles. So kind of hits the IT band, hits the lower back, hits the quadratus. Um, I'll do it facing you. You're gonna push the hips out to the side to feel a stretch. And then you're gonna push them as close to the heels as you can. Swipe them across, heels to the other side and come forward. So it's just giant hip circles. The more you push the hips out to the side, the deeper the stretch. The bigger the circle, the more of the IT band and the muscles you'll hit. Let's go the other direction. side by side and sit. <laughs> okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath in and now don't let the shoulders lift. Deep breath in. So I want you to feel when you breathe in I want you to feel it in your back as well and out. Breathe in. Push all the air out, all of it out. Two more, breathe in. Feel it all the way around your torso. Breathe out, push all the air out. One more. And out. All right, let's give those a 
ago, let me know um, what's working, what's not, and then we can add some stuff to ones that aren't not working. We'll take it out and I'll add some things that will. Okay? Well, good luck. We're in the same, let's back boat. All right, hope to visit you. See you soon.